Well, I just woke up. We were gonna sail the pyramid in the Russian town, uh, but uh, Beth just walked by and said, Ed's been taken by the police. So that is a new development. So Ed, that the, the police let you go? It is. After how many hours? You've been gone all day. Um, pretty much all day, yeah, yeah. The rest of the nine in the morning, we're back about four. Yeah, I, four. I woke up and you were, you were gone. I was missing. Rudely awoken and arrested for crossing an imaginary line. Uh, two, two thousand, no, twenty-four thousand corona, two thousand four hundred dollars. That's that's ridiculous. A bit much. So what is what is the imaginary line? Um, a mile south of Bear Island is a uh, it's just avoided for birds sanctuary. And um, I wasn't on watch, but the person who was on watch may have been close to that line. It's an ongoing investigation. <laughs> yeah, I was driving. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, but it wasn't on any chart really like no it wasn't and uh it was only the size of our boat too that yeah and if you're under 40 feet it's okay to do whatever you want yeah so it's and over 40 feet no no puffins were harmed yeah, no, certainly not. and we don't know who reported it it was oh it was our ais yeah, that kind of gave us the away AIS, so the, the abuse of the safe, safety system yeah um okay sure. ed it's putting in a heater what, what's this called engine heater uh, he uses yeah, the exchanger. heat exchanger. Yeah, he uses the heat from the engine to heat your boat while you're so when you're motoring, you get some f heat for free. Okay, got it. So today we're gonna head off to Pyramided. We're playing shuffle boats. Wedged in here. All right, onto the murky unknown. We're about 10 miles from Pyramiden. Nice that we got out of that, that kind of murky water over by Long Year Burn. Looking a lot prettier. And it's kind of like the water's got this kind of, kind of, kind of milky color, something like the glacier. I think it's like a mineral or something there. In glaciers, like the mountain lakes tend to have that kind of color to them too, you know? I think I can see the town up here. Oh, and the cruise ship's just leaving. That'd be good for us. <laughs> Look at that. They sneaked up on us. Just spotted the glacier. Look how cool that is. There's little icebergs all around. We are now in uncharted waters. The chart roughly says it's about 10 feet of water here, but I'm seeing 40 meters underneath, 43 meters underneath the keel. The keel. What you getting there, Beth? Ed has requested his axe. He wants to chip some ice and have some nice cold gin and tonics. <laughs> right on. Oh my God. <laughs> We are on the ice wall. Okay, reverse. <clears throat> it 
it's on the iceberg. Ooh, I'm a nice bird. <laughs> I'll get something else. I gotcha. <laughs> Alright, let's take the iceberg with us. We had an extra... It's icebergs. It's icebergs. <laughs> Living that iceberg life. <laughs> There's a seal over there. Just the, the phantoms and older ones. Oh, really? Yeah, we should try it on land first before you do it off the boat up here. <laughs> Coming up on Pyramid. <laughs> oh, this is momentous. Thing. Have you ever done this before? You ever no, had no. a ice? Been eating a diet. Been eating it. Maybe. We'll have a little uh... ice cream. Arctic ice cream. What Cheers. a lovely day. Cheers. Cheers. What an awesome thing. Cheers, Sam. So this is it. Pyramiden is an abandoned Soviet coal mining settlement. It was pretty much all abandoned in 1998, but everything, all the buildings and stuff are still here. So we're keeping a watch for bears as we explore this old Russian town. It's pretty neat. Look, look at all that coal. I'm just going to... Found him. I'm Sonny's new engine. I started up. Right. We made it to the top. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll sail to the most northerly settlement in the world. Uh, we then continue even further north, all the way off the charts, above 80 degrees north. And then we sail back down the coast of Svalbard into some cool uh, gl uh, glacial fjords. Uh, so I hope you'll join us then. Uh, if you're getting some of the other videos and want to make a contribution, I really appreciate it. That's what allows me to do these kind of trips. Um, otherwise, please like and subscribe. That also helps a lot. Uh, see you guys next time.